Good morning, everybody. Um, we're gonna make pajama pants today. Um, I'm using 6859 New Look. And I'm gonna do B, these, which they're a little bit shorter and they have like a little lace down here. I don't know if I'm gonna do the lace. I don't think about it when, I, when I'm doing it. Um, I did make a medium last night. And these are them. They were a little baggy. Um, they worked. Um, they're just lounging pants, but I am going to cut the small pattern out. This is the material I'm gonna use. Be sure that you wash and dry and iron your fabric before you start cutting, because it does shrink a little. This one you have to make buttonholes. So we'll do that and um, let me get going and we'll get this cut out. It might be a little hard to see. I'm gonna try to get the camera really close this time because I'm using black and it's really hard to see. But um, we'll get going and let me get this all cut out and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all my pieces cut out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make buttonholes. They want you to put a little piece of interfacing um, behind where you're gonna be putting your buttonhole. So I kind of just marked it a little and then just come over to your iron and place like a little square like this. So let me get my other piece. Okay. Be sure it's glue side down. And this is just scrap interfacing I have. So bring your pieces back over to your table and get your pattern. And you're gonna mark where your hole is. Let me see, this is front. Okay. So just place your pattern back on your fabric and find my pen. Um, oh, right there. And mark it. And I just put a little hole where that's gonna be. Get your next piece. Turn your pattern around and match it up. This is really hard to see because it's on black. As long as I have my starting point, I'm good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is get your buttonholer. I have, this is like a half inch, little, maybe a little bit bigger button. And um, so I'm gonna get this on the machine and then we'll start. Okay, I have my buttonholer on. And 
in because this is so dark. I have to put a needle in here to kind of see where I'm going to start. You know, and once I have that, I'm okay. So we're going to make this buttonhole. Do your next one. And I'm going the long way, not up and down, the long way. All right, let me put my pin in here so I know where to start. are done. What I do is take my little seam ripper. Let's see, we got the back too. And I just put it in there. And slowly I push up. Just like that. So I have my hole. Okay, let me do that to this one. Just slowly push up. And there's there's the hole. All right, let me get um, my buttonholer off and then we'll get to the next part. Okay, what we're gonna do is open your seams. Can I iron that one? Yep, okay. And now go to your table. 
and put these right side together. So come to your table. And you're gonna pin these right side together. Match your notches. So what I do first is match my center seam. your notch on both sides in between and then I come up to my top Now we're gonna sew five eighths all along here. Then you're gonna come back and do about three eighths. And you kinda wanna just go to about here on each side. So, you know, three and a half, four inches. and that will give it some enforcement. Okay, so let's do that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to feed my bird. So do your five eighths here. that done. Okay, so this is sewn up. So probably, you know, just a little. You're going to sew three eighths. And I'll take my pinking shears after and, you know, we'll trim that. I can actually do it now. So.
Okay. Now comes the fun part. Pockets. So you're going to have... Get the waist. You're going to have a pocket, a pocket here, a pocket here, and then on your back. Let me get my pockets. Okay, and um, just go back and just press open your seam here. So I have my pockets. Okay, this is my front. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark where these pockets are going. So this one, you want it right side. Get your pin. Okay. And mark. two black circles. Okay. Then on your pattern, okay. line this up. There's your notch. And mark. Okay. Then place your pocket, and there's a notch there. And you're going to pin this. I just got to be sure I'm hitting my... Yep. Okay, I'm right on. Okay. And pin this. And then go to your other side and do the exact same thing. Okay. On your back, do the exact same thing. So just mark your big dots on both pieces and pin it. There's a notch which will tell you where to go. And I'll be right back. Okay, we got that done. So you want to press your pockets outwards. Get your other. It's one of my favorite things to do, but sometimes they're nice to have. If you don't want the pockets, all you have to do is just sew, you know, your seam down all the way. Hold on, I have to go get my puppy. My husband can't get him in.
Sorry about that. I had to go get the puppy. All right, so what you're going to do is bring these pieces up. And you want it looking like, I guess, elephant ears. <laughs> okay. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is sew your sides. To. The only thing about these heat things, every time you iron, you have to mark again. Okay. So what you're going to do on each side is sew to the big dot, black dot. And then just reverse stitch a couple times. Then come down to your next dot and start sewing and back stitch a couple times and come all the way down. This is gonna leave the opening right here for your pocket. Okay, so pin that up and we'll get to the sewing machine. Okay, I'll do one side and then I'll pin up the other side. Five eighths. So your five eighths. Stitch a couple, reverse, stitch a little. Sometimes I run over pins. I should pull them out because it does dull your needle, but sometimes you just got to keep them in there. get the other side done and I'll be back. Okay, we got that done. Now put your pants right side. Now your pocket, here's your front. Your pocket needs to stay going towards your front. If you want You can make a quarter inch seam, okay, right here at the opening. But you have to move the pocket away right now. And you can just go down, iron it, and then just go down and make just a little, you know, quarter inch. You can, you know, like start right here, square it a couple stitches come down 
and square. And that will keep the pocket kind of in place. Okay, I know it's hard to see, but just open it up, iron it so everything's nice and flat, and then come and just make a little line stitch. Okay, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have mine pinned. So, it's so hard to see with this black material. Okay, no. No. Okay, buttonholes. Putting hole in the buttonhole. <clears throat> Be sure your pocket this is your front. front be sure your pocket is coming over to your right side <clears throat> Just with a little quarter inch. Okay. And here's my pocket. Start at your little notch here, up here. And stitch a couple times. And sew to the other end and back stitch. Make sure everything's out of your way. Hard to see, I know, but right here is that stitch, okay? And I have the, the camera angled wrong on the other one, but just a quarter inch, okay? So here's that one. All right, let me get this one done. And I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have that done, come back over to your pants and open them up. Now, the first thing you're going to do is see where your pocket begins right here. You're going to clip this. Don't hit your thread, but just to open it up because this is going to be part of your band. Okay. Now, you're going to pin your pockets, both pockets. And you're going to start sewing. Let's see if I can get this a little bit closer. See the seam right here? You're going to start sewing. Just this one at your 5 eighths. 
Just be sure this is kind of like bent around, okay? Five eighths, five eighths, and five eighths to here, to the last piece. So all your two pockets, and I'll be back. And then we're almost finished. Okay, so once you get that all done, come back to your sewing or your ironing board. Sorry, or material all over the place. Um, I messed up the video, so I gotta just explain it. Just take your pinking shears and go around your pocket. And you're also going to baste the top of your pocket. Just so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, now you're gonna go around and turn a quarter of an inch all the way around. Then come back and with a little over an inch, turn down your material. And be sure you get, when you're doing that, be sure you're catching that pocket. Okay. That's still going to give me enough. Yeah. So then just press and be sure your pocket's going towards your front and pin down and just keep going around and pinning. Okay. Okay, as soon as you have it all pinned, go to your back. This is my front. Get this thread from the... Where I need the buttonhole. Okay. And you're gonna leave a little space because we're gonna put the elastic through. And what you're gonna do is sew as close to the edge as you can. I'm going to be using, where did I put it? I'm using three quarter inch. elastic so I don't think I really have to stitch right here you can okay so let's start sewing this up so just leave a space where's my front this is my front so here's my back so just sew as close as you can to that corner leaving your space Okay, and I'll be back as soon as I finish this up. Okay, I got mine sewn up, and then I'm just pulling out my basting thread that I had for my um, pockets. Okay. So here's that part. So now we're going to put our elastic in. That's going to be my front. So this is my back. And I'm not going to sew on top because I'm using a little bit bigger elastic than what it's calling for. It's the only elastic I had. So just run your elastic through and then you're going to try on the pants and get it exactly where you want, and then you're gonna sew your elastic together.
Okay, I have my elastic through. And I'm just going to try these on and see where I need to cut my elastic. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got where I want to be. So take your pin out. Cut your elastic. Stick down overlap. Like I said, some people just sew it like that and it leaves you a bump. But if you sew it like this, and then you sew both ends, you're better off. So just Go down the middle of it. <clears throat> okay, and then do each end. And just tuck it in and sew up your little hole that you got for your seam. Maybe let me get that through there. Okay, there we go. And just kind of move your elastic around. All right, and sew up your little seam here. Now we're going to do, oh, we're going to do the hem. I know there was a string there, but I don't see it right now with this black, black thread and black materials really hard to work with. So keep your pants inside out and we're gonna fold down a little corner and then probably like three quarters of an inch we're gonna sew so let me get to the ironing board okay be sure you open up your seams and turn down about a quarter. That's what we've done before. Keep going around. Okay, and now just turn down another about three quarters. So just get your little ruler and measure it. Press pin. And I'll be back. Okay, I got <clears throat> my legs all pinned up. We're gonna sew this. And then I did find 
some lace that I think I'm gonna, cause this is um, paisley. So I think I might put some down. So let me get these sewn up and then I have to switch to some white thread and then we'll put the lace on. Okay, I got the hem done. So go to the ironing board. Turn your pants right side. Okay, iron your hem. Now, if you want to put the lace on, I had this from another project and I still, I think that would look cute on there. So what you're gonna do is pin it on Starting at one of your seams. And I'm going to bring it where my ladder, I call it like a ladder stitch. I'm going to start <clears throat> with it right there. And I'm going to pin it around. So let me get that done. And I'll show you how to do your end here. Okay, so when you get to the end, unpin your first piece. So unpin your first piece. Now you're gonna just cut your lace right here. And then, let's see. Cut a little off of this. I don't need all that. Let's see where we're gonna be. Okay. So I can cut off a little. Cut it right in the middle. And then turn it and cover your raw stitch here or your raw lace. And then just match it up. And then we're gonna sew. And when you get down to where this part is, where you ended, you're just gonna pivot and come down this way. Okay, so let me get my thread and I'm gonna sew it in two spots. I'm gonna sew it up top here and at the bottom here. 
let me get that all set up. So right at that seam where you started, run this through. Okay, and get your spot. So right onto that and sew around and I'll be back. Okay, the last thing we need to do is make our little tie strap. If you want, this is, we put the buttonholes in. So they either said you can use um, ribbon, twine, or whatever. What I do, because I have leftover material, I want to use it up. So I take a tape measure, okay? And I put it around my waist. Let me get it down. Okay, I put it around my waist. Okay, this is 60 inches. So I'm gonna see once it's down here. And I make my thing. Okay, so I'm gonna make it about 60 inches. So I come to my fabric that I have left over. going to cut this about two and a half, two and three quarters wide. So And make as many pieces or whatever you have left. I hope I have enough. I'm doing about two and three quarters. And then you're going to sew these together. So cut your pieces. I just got so much on my table. I can't use my rotary cutter right now. And make enough for about 60 inches. Okay, and when I get that done, I'll come back.
Okay, come back to your sewing machine and you're just gonna stitch up this edge. So keep stitching away. Okay, get your pin just like the elastic and you're gonna run it through the buttonhole this time. So find your buttonholes. I'm right here. Okay, and run this through. Takes a second to get this going. Okay, keep going around and I'll be back. Okay, we are finished. And these are small. And let me see if I can get this down a little bit. There. Okay, so I'm 118 pounds. And you got your pockets, and here's our tie, and our lace. So these are just lounging pants. They're actually very comfortable. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so that's it for this video. Um... That was the new look, $68.59. So tomorrow, I am probably either going to make an apron. It's um, adjustable neck and waist. Or we might make this one of these. And I'm thinking maybe D. D or C. I'm not sure which one yet. But that's what I'm thinking about either tomorrow or the next day. So I hope this video helped somebody. Um, I really do appreciate you spending your time with me and learning to sew. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get the channel growing a little bit more. And um, I will see you tomorrow for either the apron or the shirt. Okay, you all have a good evening.